Hey farmhands, Farm Boy Reef here. So I just got back from uh, my Easter dinner with my parents. So I got home, power was out. I was wondering what's going on. I could hear water leaking. Well, the problem is my uh, 220 here, it just sprung a leak as you guys can see. Not looking too good. Um, water's pretty much out. I can see right here I have an issue of a water leak. I don't know where somewhere a seal is let go or something. So I'm not sure what's up with that. So right now I just got my brew containers uh, ready. I gotta get all my fish out and all my corals, try to get them into another tank. So well, it's Easter and this is what I just came home to. I just had my parents, power went out and all I could hear was a little bit of water running. Well, my 220 has sprung a leak. I can, the only place I can see where there's water leaking is right here on the edge. It's not, it's not very good. I've lost a lot of water already. Um, so what I end up doing, a little bit of emergency. I got a bunch of my uh, brew containers here, these 40 gallon brutes. I gotta get all my fish and all my corals in there and hopefully uh, save them as much as I can. I got other tanks I can place them into, but it looks like the 220, that's it. I'm mean, done with the 220, it's time to move on. I just hopefully I can save a lot of my corals. I've been working on this tank for many years. I got a lot of my uh, rocket here right now. So I guess it's time for a change. Hopefully I can save a lot of my SPS colonies and acros and everything. And a lot of the fish I've had for almost over seven years now, I gotta make sure, get them into a tank ASAP. So hopefully the power comes back on. Um, I had the generator running, but shut the generator off now. Let's just get the water out and get all the fish. I hopefully none of you else uh, have to go through something like this, guys. So what I have to do right now is I just filled up uh, all these containers right here. Starting to I got them filled up. I just took the tank water, put them in here. Um, I'm gonna put all my corals in one bucket, get all my fish in the other, and then uh, take them down to my basement. I have a couple 75 gallon tanks down there. I'm gonna place and hold all my uh, fish and corals. So it looks like maybe I'm gonna have to do an upgrade or see what I'm gonna do with this 220, but I think that's it for this 220. I've had it for like going on almost 10 years now. So maybe, you know, the seals, uh, the seals went on it, the silicone or something like that. Maybe that's what the issue was. So I don't wish this on anybody. This is a real pain. Um, so my main display is here up on the main floor in my fish den and all the water's leaking to my basement. So we're gonna have water damage down there as well. So that's a real pain, gotta deal with that. So hopefully things will turn out. Um, well, a lot of my books and stuff, see everything seems to be okay underneath, but it looks like it's gonna be a big change coming, guys. Uh, that's it's pretty sad when your when your tank goes and you've put so many years into it with all your corals and your fish and everything. You've been put so much time and effort. It's not good. So um, this is what my Sunday is gonna deal with. Try to figure out, get all my fish out of here, all the shrimps, crabs, all my clams, and hopefully get them all acclimated into the other tanks with the other lights and see what happens. Hopefully that they'll survive until. Either I get another tank or maybe fix this one up, but I've had this one over 10 years now and maybe the silicone and the seals have dried up on it, so it might be a time for a change. It's gonna be a real pain trying to catch all these shrimp and stuff, but I just wanted to show this to show you guys this is what happens when your tank uh, cracks and you don't really have a backup plan. You always wanna remember to make sure you have a backup plan. I have a few extra tanks in the basement that I can uh, put the rest of my corals and fish in, but it won't be the same, right? Because now I'm gonna come home to this empty fish room with no tank for a while. All right, guys, so this is what's going on on Sunday. So hopefully your day is going a lot better than mine, all right? So uh, we'll see what's going to come up next, guys.